assemble these eight cars, I would say that the process started in a focused way about 20 years ago. And some of the early cars we acquired, we no longer have because we kept raising the benchmark with each new acquisition. And so over the course of the last 20 years, uh, these are eight cars that I feel are all premier examples of what they represent. Untouched, untampered with, authentic, number matching, well-documented, well-pedigreed cars. To me, that is the holy grail of any mark. Uh, they're only that way one time. As a collector, I'd say I started very young and slowly over the years we've accumulated these cars. Uh, everyone as a collector I think has a different focus. Uh, my focus is I'm very hands-on. Um, I maintain all my cars. I do just about all the mechanical work on all my cars and I am, I am a perfectionist about it. I want everything to be right. I want to understand all the systems in the car. And, and if the car goes out to a show or whatever, and for some reason it doesn't do well, I want that to reflect on me because I can control fixing it. Now, when I was younger, I used to really enjoy the buying experience. To me, the real experience, it is the ownership and the stewardship, and I want that part of the experience to be incredible, even if the buying part of the experience is not pleasurable, because that's the part you live with, that's the part you get the reward out of. But today, what interests me is not only a car that's historically correct and well vetted, but one that's fully functional, that operates and performs as it should. You know, the whole gamut. I want the car to be, to hit every aspect of what a collector car should. If I'm focused on a car, the first thing I want to do is I want to find a person in the country that's known to be the expert on that car and I want them to vet the car uh, so that when it comes in, it's not just something I feel good about, but more an objective world views as, as a first class vehicle. And like for the Mopar stuff, I rely on Roger Gibson. He spent a lifetime studying every aspect of these cars. And I can go buy a car that I think is absolutely perfect. But I'd rather buy a car that I know he thinks is perfect because, <laughs> you know, he is the true expert on those types of cars. Yeah, this is, this is very difficult for me, selling these cars. Um, I just turned 61 years of age. Um, my wife and I have 55 cars, and I told my wife by the time I'm 70, I'd like to be down to maybe 30 cars. So um, we were very fortunate to get linked up with uh, Dana Meekum. And uh, Dana came in and saw the cars. I think he was impressed with the cars and um, was very persuasive in saying, hey, I really want to represent these muscle cars. And so we felt like that was the right way to do it. Um, but it's very difficult. I, I would love to see each of these cars go to someone who's going to steward the car well, hopefully keep it long, long term. I mean, to me, these are very special cars. And so I would love to see them go to passionate collectors that are very serious about the care of these cars and preserving them long term as great pieces of history and uh, people that will genuinely cherish them. <laughs>